reaction from the White House? It's been, it seems like it's enough to calm the markets for now. Well, exactly. I mean, this is really good news. We're starting to see some compromise. We're starting to see some perhaps more action than what we have seen. There's definitely been a huge stalemate that's been sitting over the markets and sentiment for the markets over the past few weeks. So this is actually really exactly what the market's looking for. We just need to see that it gets followed through. This really ha has been dampening sentiment over the past few weeks, as I said, and it's been capping the market. Mm -hmm. So what we've seen is the S&P just yesterday hit a two-month high, which is great news. We're hoping to see that the markets will push on up this morning following this positive and, news. And if, if this deal can get done, um, how much further have these equity markets got to run in 2013, do you think? Well, exactly. This is what's been holding the markets back. So we are expecting to see, you know, a good rally from the back of this. However, going into 2013, we do have other issues that we need to contend with. Europe, the Eurozone crisis, that's not going away, yeah, however yeah. much we'd like it to. And Draghi, um, and Draghi, of course, warned yesterday of this, of this challenging economic environment. What, what did you take from, from, from his words yesterday? Exactly. He does warn of this environment that's going to be challenging. I mean, until now, we had seen that perhaps Brussels were thinking that things were looking perhaps a little bit more optimistic and that the, the worst is over. But I think what we're seeing really is that this is not going to be the case. I mean, especially we've had some comments from China as well, that they're completely concerned uh, over the state of what could happen to the Eurozone in 2013. So we've still got, you know, Spain to contend with what's going to happen there. Greece, it doesn't appear that we're out of the woods as far as that's concerned either. And Italy, I mean, there's a huge political row that's sort of erupting over there. So there's still a lot to be holding the markets back. Um, RBS um, is in focus, of course. UBS is in focus, of course. Um, what's your focus today on, on, on specific corporates? Yeah, it's, it's been a dirty year for the banks, I think. I mean, as far as the, uh, the banks are concerned, we do want to get a line drawn under this LIBOR rigging. It's been carrying on for a bit too long now. Uh, I do think, though, that the financials will actually be doing quite well, perhaps not because of the focus on RBS, but because of the news from America. So we will be seeing perhaps miners, financials, risk on uh, uh, areas that are going to be actually doing quite well today.